Hi, my name is Tanya Garcia, and I'm the owner of Elemental Family Farm in Renton, Washington. I wanted to share with you this video today about artificially inseminating your cows. A little background, I've had Dexter since 2007, and I've never owned a breeding bull, so I've always AI'd our herd. When I got into Dexter's, I had never owned a cow before. I was fresh and new, like many of you are. In 2017, I took an AI class, and I was successful in breeding three of my own animals using AI. However, I found it easier to allow an expert to get it done quickly the first time. AI prep starts long before you have an AI tech on your farm, AIing your cow. First, you need to know if you have an AI tech available in your area. Once you have found one, you will need to have a source of semen available for your tech to use. A tech can hold your semen in his tank for you, or you will need to own your own tank and maintain it. Once you have all that lined up, it's time to heat, start heat detecting your herd. I like to start by watching my prospective heifers or cows about three months before I'm due to inseminate them. I write down when they are in a standing heat. If I catch their bleed off approximately three days after their heat cycle, I will document that as well. So the day has come and it's time to AI your cow. First thing I do is enclose her in a smaller size field so I can keep a close eye on her during her heat cycle. You can leave her in with the herd or you can section her off with a dominant female or steer. And now I watch. I'm watching for a full standing heat, four solid feet on the ground while she is being mounted. I want her to stay that way for a short time, approximately five to 10 seconds. And then I wanna see it happen a few more times. At this point, I call my AI guy and I say, hey, I've got a full standing heat. And this starts the 12 to 18 hour timeline. We don't wanna breed before 12 hours after seeing a standing heat. And we don't want to breed after 18 hours because it's just too late at that point. Now this is important. When your AI guys arrive to inseminate your cow, your cow and the herd should be completely finished with all signs of heat. It should look like nothing happened today kind of calm. When I see this, I generally want my cow bred within the next couple of hours. That usually fits exactly into the 12 hour timeline. There's the two girls in heat. I AI in a small two stall trailer. My AI guy says it's a great setup and he wishes he had one to pull around for some of his clients who have less than suitable AI facilities. So now Bob is Bob, taking Bob. the straw out of Amen. the warm water and he is cutting the tip off of it and he is going to be inserting it into the AI gun. And he's gonna put it back into his shirt to keep it warm. We wanted to provide you with a diagram to help you understand how AI works. So Bob is gonna take his AI gun and he's going to insert it into the vulva, through the vagina, through the cervix, and into the uterine body. And the tricky part is getting through the folds of the cervix. And that's what kind of takes a little bit of time and why he um, takes so long to get the AI procedure finished. Oh. Do you want me to hold her a little tighter or anything? You tell me what you want. I'm good for right now. Okay. Been getting green. Oh, 
These are heifers, aren't they? Yes. Both of these? Yes. Now we gotta see if they're really ready. How do they feel? Well, that's what we're about to find out. Well, she looks good. I just get the last ring. Come on, quit cramping on me there, sweetie. That one felt really good. Yeah, they're small, but she was wide open, which was good. Oh, good. Yeah, we're using Mr. Yakima. Which one's he in? Do you remember? I think it's the white one. That's only one straw. I mean, one thing. Then king. it's not in that one. With one Is straw. Is there more down there? No? Nope. Maybe it's yellow. It's gotta be one yellow. There's a bunch there, of them. That's it. There's yeah, those ones on. for sure. They're all red. Makes it easy. Look at all the, all the guys that want to know what's going on. Remember, be calm. We always want to be calm when we're breathing. It's super important. Everybody should be calm. Good job. It's okay. It's okay, honey. It's okay. I've given them permission to, to do that. It's all right. You're my good girl. You're a good girl. You're such a good girl. Yes, Amber. Yes, Faith. It's beautiful, it's actually. Okay, Faith. He says my trailer mimics an AI box nicely. After they are AI'd, it's best to let them stay in the trailer for about a half hour. After that, you can let them out. I like to give them a treat for being a good cow, and then I wait for 21 days to see if AI was successful. If I'm successful, the cow will not have another heat, and if the AI was unsuccessful, the cow will come back into heat, and we will repeat the whole process. I find that AI is like a jigsaw puzzle. If you get all the pieces put into the right place and the cow is healthy, you will get the expected result nearly 100% of the time with a competent AI tech. It's going to be on you to learn the ropes and get it right. And if I can do it, so can you. Oh, hold still, sweetheart.
They're both pretty wide open. That one there was a little more trying. She was moving around, but she was wide open. Awesome. Thank you. She's a little nervous now. And she's my more or less nervous cow, too. Which is interesting, huh? Good girl. What happens is, is on cows, the ones that are scared will stand there. Ah. And the ones that aren't scared move around. So that's exactly what happened just now. Mm-hmm.